You know, a lot of companies now are starting to move towards a more data-driven way to measure productivity or employee burnout, you know, things like that. For example, I think you mentioned, you know, some of the Dora metrics, you got the Dora 4 with cycle time. You know, we had Dominica de Grandis come on the pod and she talked about flow metrics. Um, do you think companies like Netflix will continue to kind of amplify this data-driven trend when it comes to productivity? Oh yeah. Uh, Again, you know, we reorged maybe north of six months ago. Uh, and one of the things that we're really keen to do is get this going in a more formal, standardized way. Because if, you know, we can't just rely on gut feel. We can't just rely on sort of that, that qualitative data. We need something else to anchor it to. But there is no unicorn metric. You know, one metric to rule them all just doesn't exist. Um, and so one of the things that we're adopting within productivity is space, which is an extension of Accelerate. You know, so um, Nicole For yeah. Forsgren. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Nicole's awesome. Yeah, she's, she's incredible. Um, and it's like the whole child approach, right? You know, like customer satisfaction, customer performance, the activity, which we poo-pooed a little bit earlier, but sometimes it's important to see like, how frequently are we doing pull requests? You know, how, you know, how is that all going? Um, there's the communication slash collaboration piece, and then there's the whole efficiency and flow piece. And so finding just little key metrics in each one of those spaces where we can, in context, and understand that there are push-pulls or trade-offs to each one of these things and just see, right? How are we doing? We've, we've put these things in motion. This is our strategy. These are our hypotheses around, you know, how we're going to improve our customers' productivity. Are those things paying off? And if you can't measure them in some way, who knows?